Former WWE Divas Champion Paige, now known as Soraya, makes her AEW debut last night on the Grand Slam edition of Dynamites. Hey guys, welcome back to Wrestling News 365. Hope everyone is doing very well. And as always, especially after last night's edition of Grand Slam edition of Dynamite on TBS, there are plenty of news stories to get into. And we've got to talk about the debut of Soraya in All Elite Wrestling. Yes, the formerly known uh, WWE star as Paige is now in AEW. She is All Elite under her real name of Soraya because the AEW Women's Division just received a huge shot in the arm on Wednesday night in Queens, New York, as Soraya, formerly known as Paige in WWE, made her AEW debut at Dynamite Grand Slam, as I mentioned, in Queens, New York, at Arthur Ashe Stadium. Now, Soraya walked out to a thunderous ovation from fans in attendance at Arthur Ashe Stadium, arriving on the scene after Tony Storm successfully retained her AEW interim Women's World title against Dr. Britt Baker, DMD, Athena, and Serena Deeb in a four-way match. Now, Soraya had to make the save. She actually saved Athena and Storm from a post-match beatdown at the hands of Baker and Deeb. And even Jamie Hayter, of course, has previously teased leaving Britt Baker's stable. But actually, it was all a ruse. Jamie Hayter is on good terms with Britt Baker, uh, joining in the action and pledging her loyalty to DMD. Now, just as Baker prepared to apply the lockjaw on Storm, Soraya's music hit, prompting the heels to retreat from the ring. And it must be said, the pop... <laughs> that Soraya got was incredible. It's a great moment. It really is a great moment. If you haven't seen it, I would recommend to go back and watch it because it is just, when you do think about um, everything, you know, when you do think about everything that she has been through over the last however many years with its injuries, you know, scandal and stuff in her private life and uh, addiction as well. She's been very open about that. It was just, it was a moment. It really was a moment. And the reaction, the music, the, the the faces, the noise, it really was fantastic. Now, Soraya then hit, did her signature, This Is My House scream before inviting Storm and Athena to join her in the ring. The three women embraced for hugs as the crowd cheered them on. Now, whilst it hasn't been confirmed, and this is really going to be the big question, isn't it? This is going to be the big question that people are talking about. This is going to be the big point of discussion now that Soraya is indeed All Elite, is is... Soraya going to wrestle? Is the former WWE Divas champion going to be stepping in between the ropes to wrestle once again? Because, of course, she hasn't wrestled in, gosh, what, nearly five years at this point. But it does appear, as of right now, that Soraya has joined AEW as an active in-ring performer. She's only 30 years old. This is what's wild about her as well. She's been wrestling for such a long time at such a young age as well, which possibly might have led to some of the, the injuries and the, and the neck issues that she's had, of course. But the 30-year-old uh, talent hasn't wrestled since a six-woman tag team match at a WWE MSG live event on December 26, 2017. Now, during that match, from a kick to the back, uh, right between the shoulder blades, uh, she suffered a severe neck injury during that match, prompting her to being forced to retire from in-ring competition. Now, over the past year or so, it must be said, Soraya has reiterated on several occasions that she hopes and her plan is to follow in the footsteps of other talents and for other legends that were forced to retire and have since come back, namely people like Edge, who, of course, now is having this renaissance or whatever you want to call it renaissance renaissance however you want to pronounce it uh in this latter stage of his career after being forced to retire for however many years what was it eight years or something like that nine years i believe it was uh coming back from a similar style of neck injury prompting all of that time off he had to have uh, neck fusion surgery i think it was triple neck fusion surgery people like brian danielson that were forced to retire due to concussions but he made his return danielson's a slightly different model to 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 uh, soraya and edge it must be said but you've also got someone like sting right sting right at the latter stage of his career and and look face it he's up there in age he wrestled last night at the tapings for the uh, the grand slam edition of Rampage that's going to air on Friday. He wrestled and he was forced to retire again because of a neck injury that he suffered against Seth Rollins back in uh, 2015, 2014, whenever it was, at Night of Champions. And we've seen these people that had these previously career-ending injuries return and have these, you know, and flourish and have these sort of second lease on life, as it were, as a professional wrestler. So she has stated over the last 12 months and longer that she hopes to overcome these career-ending injuries like Edge, like Brian, like Sting, like others, and return to the ring. 
And now, of course, Soraya, her WWE contract expired this past June, and she implied that she was on the brink of being cleared by her doctors, which could suggest that maybe she has had this conversation with her doctors that have given her the thumbs up, that have given her the all clear, that she could indeed uh, be about to return to the ring. Now, this wasn't totally, totally surprising because it was reported just a few hours before uh, Dynamite Grand Slam went on the air that AEW had reached out to Paige or Soraya uh, this past summer. It was reported by Sean Ross Sapp of Fightful Select. And this is kind of how it works a lot of the time with these AEW debuts, these free agent signings that maybe the day of or the day before you get a report you get a rumor where it doesn't necessarily confirm that this person has signed with AEW or this person is going to appear on this show tonight but you get the report of they've been in touch they've had conversations it happened with uh, Keith Lee it happened with Swerve Strickland I think it happened with Jay Lethal like that that's how it works with AEW like it will just get out just enough information will get out the day of or the day before to get people to tune in thinking maybe maybe something could happen and that was the similar situation here it was reported by Sean Ross Sapp um, that there was indeed conversations this past summer of course Soraya hasn't wrestled as I mentioned since December 20, uh, 2017 after being forced to retire um, and let's be honest when she was forced to retire in 2017 uh, she had just come back she'd just been off for I think about a year with this neck injury uh, and other issues she, she was dealing with as well I think she was suspended a couple of times by WWE but she came back after all of this stuff that was happening in her private life etc and you know, and she came back and she was resting and then she got injured once again, the neck injury once again and was forced to retire. Um, but Fightful reported, as I mentioned yesterday evening, that via AW sources that there had been at least conversations with Soraya this past summer. Now, they weren't given any additional context of that at the time beyond one person stating that they believe WWE would also be interested in bringing her back considering the new regime. We know, of course, now that hasn't happened. Um, conversations at the time didn't result in anything. But things could have changed. And again, it's no coincidence that that was reported <laughs> yesterday evening. And then suddenly she debuts on Dynamite as well. Now, again, the way that the announcers were referring to Soraya does give you the indication that she is going to be indeed resting. Um, Taz, Tony Schiavone, Excalibur talked about how the landscape of the AEW women's division had changed. And how the second generation wrestler could, quote, flat out go. Still, even though she's been talking about a comeback for more than a year, there is still some disbelief and concern among fans online. We'll see whether that escalates or dissipates in the next couple of days and weeks, whether Tony Khan himself is going to reassure people, whether Soraya herself is going to reassure people or come out and do interviews. We're going to have to wait and see. But it does seem fairly clear, certainly to me, that Tony Khan has signed her to be a wrestler. Otherwise, you know, they've added her straight to the roster page, as you can see on their website. And... She does have a win-loss record. Now, it must be said as well that we did just report yesterday that win-loss records aren't really being totally um, uh, adhered to anymore. They're being gradually sort of phased out or they're not as important as they once were. So maybe you could say, well, don't read into that. But she's been added to the active performers. She's not been added to the coaches section. She's not been added to the managers section or anything like that. She's been added to active performers. She's in there on that list with Ruby Soho, with Serena D, with Tay Mello, with Thunder Rosa, with Tony Storm, with Britt Baker, etc. And the way that uh, she chased off the heels last night would suggest that she is indeed going to wrestle. And look... I will keep the same energy that I've kept when, you know, we heard people like Sting get cleared or other people get cleared. As long as they can, as long as they're cleared and they're healthy and they're not just being cleared by their own doctors. So it's not just Paige, Soraya saying, oh, my doctor's cleared me. If it's the AEW team as well saying, yep, you can go, you're healthy to go then I'm okay with it. And also as well, people have to realize that when someone gets cleared to compete, they when when they have their match, they don't take that bump for the first time. They've been taking bumps for a while. So logically, you would hope that if she comes out and she if she's wrestling, then she would have actually been training and taking bumps for quite a while to make sure that she could do indeed do this. We don't want to see, nobody wants to see uh, Soraya, especially at the age she is, at only 30, get in real physical trouble and if she feels like she can do it if and most importantly if the AEW doctors and if her doctors feel like she can do it and do it safely and do it well then I'm all for it again you think about all that she's gone through even if she can't wrestle and, and this is probably the best way to finish this here even if she can't wrestle the moment she had last night the the ovation 
the response, the music, the lights, the stadium, then it's already all worth it. Uh, and again, my hope would be that if she can wrestle, and if she can wrestle, she can wrestle safely and healthy. But there you go, guys. Let me know your thoughts on Soraya making her AEW debut in the comment section below. Be sure to smash a like on the like button. Be sure to subscribe, bottom right-hand corner, and I'll speak for you again very, very soon. Hey guys, thank you for watching, listening, streaming, or however you come across this video today. Be sure to click on the video on the right there to watch our next video, or click the bottom there to subscribe, or the bottom right-hand corner. Thank you very much, and I'll speak to you again very soon.